And if we still get another nice day yet, Heather will set a task for today, not a task for the parameters. Well, then it could devalue it. <coughs> no, it won't devalue. It doesn't devalue by going over it. <laughs> yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I, I think that is better for our sport and for the people that we have a valid championship. It's okay, it's clear if you win a championship only with two tasks. Alps, we have collectium, the clouds, and very uh, slow weather improvements. And therefore, I think we can't uh, make a task today. Okay. Um, well, we said that we'd make a 12 o'clock. Announcement. I'd still like to wait for that to see what happens in the next 20 minutes. Wat zei je, Flip? Je moet naar boven. Wat zeg je? Je moet naar boven naar de startplaats. Nou, daar had ik helemaal niet op gerekend. In de sneeuw staan. Nou, je hoeft niet hoor. Oh. Je mag ook naar het zwembad gaan. Nou, maar wij gaan naar boven. There's actually uh, the sun coming out right now. Hey Daphne. Hey Flip. Kom eens, kom eens deze kant op. Wat gebeurt hier nou? We gaan vliegen. Gek. Ja, dat had ik nog gezegd vanmorgen. Wordt dit een officiële WK-taak? Ik hoop het. <coughs> ja. Jeetje. Hé, hey, wat leuk deze startplaats zo. Ja, goed hè? Ja. ja het wordt, als er lucht in gaan, wordt het in ieder geval fantastisch. Alle toppen zijn wit. Dus, uh, en het is aardig wat, uh, wat, wat stijgende wolken zo te zien. Dus uh, wie weet wordt het toch nog interessant. Yes. What's your function in this competition? I am the meteorologist. <coughs> we have tomorrow a day uh, very exactly like today and with a little luck and no showers in the morning. Uh, I, I am hopeful that we can eventually take a task. No showers in the morning, that's unique, I think. We have yes, never... Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's a, a 10, 5, uh, 15 kilometers uh, at the Alps, it's rain and before and, uh, and before sunny weather, it's terrible. Okay, <laughs> it's... thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Regina, yeah, good hello. to see you. Nice to see you, Flip. What are you doing? Nice to see you on the mountain. Is this normal in this time of the year? No, it's not normal. <laughs> but you're still smiling, so you yes. like it, I think. It's warm, but we are on the mountain and we may be flying. So, what would you do? Have you ever taken off in snow? Is it usual in Japan? Not, not usual at all, but in winter time in Japan, when we fly high mountains, we take off with some snow on the setting up zone, but not on the ranch. Heather! Yes, please. What's happening? Well, we're in the snow, there's a bit of sun, and uh, hopefully we'll get a task. We're here in the right spot drying. It's Let's beautiful, see. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Ah, Oli. Yes. Are you optimistic? Oh, I'm very optimistic. Oh, I'm, I'm optimistic. always. John, would you read out that number? I would have set up already if I would find the space. That's Corina. 
maybe. Finally, you're going to fly. Yeah, hopefully. Looking better than any other day so far. Oh, I, I feel right. It's got a carbon splinter in my finger. From these stupid things that go. You're being filmed now, so he will he will hear it. Happy to be here, Kathleen. Ecstatic flip. <laughs> nice easy place here, I think, to set the task. You can see what's happening out in front as well. At this stage, we're, you know, we'd be looking to probably do something pretty much where we can see everything. We're not thinking about going back over there anywhere. That would be my suggestion. Okay. So more, more along the ridge, out in the valley. I don't know how far out you're able to fly, but that sort of thing. We want um, a task that is. We want a nice, valid task for today. So keep it conservative, but still what you think is a reasonable distance. Probably the, the best thing is to um, split into two groups now. But you see it's uh, <coughs> in a small area, very different. <laughs> Over 2000, I'm very sure you uh, never get In terms? Uh, small, weak turns, wet, wet bottom. Not good for landings? It's frustrating, isn't it? <laughs> oh shit, are we really not going to fly? More than frustrating, I don't even believe if you can fly to the, to the landing field because the wind, the wind is increasing, they already it's rain in, in Kaforin, yes. At the same plane airport, they also stop. Uh, you might like to listen because you might need to take the gliders up pretty quickly, Monique. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, so you actually get to see something on the task board, but unfortunately, uh, the weather's coming in pretty fast out there, and Ollie Volker can give you an update on that. So even though we set tasks, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to fly them. It was close, and maybe you get to free fly if you're quick enough, and if the wind comes in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe tomorrow, huh? So just because you want a free fly still doesn't mean you might be able to take it. Just talking to We know what she's talking here. Okay. A short weather update. Uh, the weather improved. That looks nice. But we have seen at the rain radar we be, there are some strong signals moving fast to us with strong showers and I have take a call with a man in Kaufbeuren, 30 kilometers uh, ahead and he speaks very windy, very strong showers and that's all the situation we see in the rain water. And okay, thanks everybody. And there see we Daphne weer. Vertel het dus Daphne, wat gaat er gebeuren? Nou, zoals je ziet ben ik mijn spullen weer aan het inpakken. Dat is, uh, Hoe komt dat? Omdat er een uh, gustfront aankomt met regen. En, nou, je kan het al zien regenen in het dal. En ik heb eigenlijk niet zo'n zin om uh, ofwel in de regen te landen of een harde wind. Dus uh, we hebben het geprobeerd en uh, morgen weer een kans hoop ik. Nou, dus laten we daarop hopen dan. Toch niet gevlogen. Olly, yes. what are we looking at? Oh, I'm looking at um, the option if we still get a wave to fly down there or not. And what is that what I see in front of us? Oh, dark sky. <laughs> Looks like a nice mini front. Rain. Rain again. We just heard it was not a bump alarm, it was because of the strong wind and the cable car can't run. So everybody, everybody has to go walk down. <laughs> Again. It's only half an hour. Yeah. Okay.